Where is Jane? She is in the living room. What is she doing? She is playing the piano. Where is the car? It is in the garage. Where is the dog? The dog is in front of the door. What is the dog doing? The dog is eating. Where are you? I am in the kitchen. What are you doing? I am cooking dinner. Where are Bill and Mary? They are in the living room. What are they doing? They are watching TV. Where is the cat? She is in the dining room. What is she doing? She is sleeping. Who is she? She is my sister. What's her name? Her name is Jennifer. Where is she in this photograph? She's in Toronto. What is that building behind her? She's standing in front of the CN Tower. Where is the school? It's between the library and the park. Where is the post office? It's across from the movie theater. Where is the Royal Bank? It's next to the supermarket. Where is the gas station? It's around the corner from the church. Where is the barber shop? It's near the bus station. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the nearest bank? Yes, it's on Geneva Street. As a matter of fact, I'm going that way myself. May I help you? Yes, please. I am looking for an umbrella. What's your favorite color? It's black. Excuse me, is this your umbrella? No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Are you married? No, I'm not. I'm single. Tell me about your new car. Is it large? No, it's not. It is small. Tell me about the questions in your English book. Are they difficult? No, they're not. They are easy. Tell me about your new neighbors. Are they quiet? No, they aren't. They are noisy. Is Alice young or old? She is young. Is Bill tall or short? He is short. Is Albert's apartment big or little? It's small. Were the last examinations easy or difficult? They were difficult. Is Julie married or single? She is single. Will you be home at about six o'clock? Yes, I will. A grant? What's a grant? The government is giving her money to pay for her education. That's right. Does it pay for everything? No, she has a loan too. What's the difference between a loan and a grant? You have to pay back a loan. A grant is a gift. Would you like to go to a pop concert? Well, I'd like to, but when is it? Maybe you could change your plans. It's going to be a really great concert. Maybe I will. I wouldn't want to miss it. You have a cold? Yes, that's why I'm sneezing so much. Are you taking anything for your cold? I'm taking contact. Does it help? Yes, but it makes me sleepy. What are you looking for? My jacket. I'm going to the doctor. Why? What's the problem? I'm not sure, but I don't feel well. Do you have a fever? No, but I have a pain in my chest. What time is your appointment? Eleven thirty. I'm going now. Bye. Can you help me, officer? I'll try. What's the problem? Where are your keys? They're in the car. How can you do that? With a coat hanger. It's easy. Where can we get a coat hanger? There's one in the police car. Wait here. Where do you want to go? Seventy Maple Street, please. Where are you from? Toronto. What time do you get up? At six o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I have to be at work by seven. What do you do? I own a bookstore. What time does your store open? At eight thirty. Get me another drink. I guess if you're lazy, no one else is allowed to be. What's wrong? There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. What's the matter with the phone? Here, listen to this peculiar noise. It doesn't sound like a dial tone. How do we do that? We can't use the phone. 
Let's go next door and use our neighbor's phone. How about across the street? I forgot about Mrs. Riley. I'm sure she'd let us use her phone. Does it take long to get a visa? It depends on the season. Anywhere from one month to two months. What do I need to do? Fill out an application form and wait. Will there be a long waiting period? Not if you don't run into any government delays. Well, this woman may be suitable for the job, but is she energetic enough? Yes, she certainly seems to have lots of energy. She's got to be ambitious, too. Is she? Yes, she has plenty of ambition. And we really need a flexible sort of person. Do you think she is? Mm, she seems to be determined enough, but she's a little tough. What are you so happy about? You're grinning from ear to ear. Sandy and I are going to go out this weekend. Which night are you going to see her? Friday or Saturday? On Friday. She isn't going to be in town on Saturday and Sunday. What are you going to do on Friday? I don't know yet. How about taking her to a Chinese restaurant? I've heard that she likes Chinese food. That's a great idea. What are you going to wear on your date? I'm going to wear my new suit. How about your sports jacket? Are you going to wear it on Friday night? No, I am not. Go ahead and wear it. Did you sleep okay last night? No, I didn't. What did you do yesterday? I went to a nightclub last night and danced all night. Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time, but I'm beat today. What time did you leave the nightclub? I left at about 3 a.m. Which nightclub did you go to? Fantastic. It's on Ontario Street. It's really nice. Do you already have your ticket? Yes. Here you are. Can you put your luggage up here, please? Sure. I have three suitcases. Can I carry this one with me? No, I'm sorry. It won't fit under your seat. That's $45. A window seat or aisle seat? I'd like a window seat, please. Can I see your passport? Certainly. Here it is. Have you got anything to declare? Yes, I have. I've got some whiskey and some cigarettes. How much whiskey have you got? A liter. And how many cigarettes have you got? Two hundred. What about perfume? Uh, no, I haven't. A boy or a girl? You never saw such a cute girl. Nine pounds, three ounces, and as cute as a button. Doesn't this call for cigars? Oh, yes, I forgot about the cigars. Here, have one. How's your wife? She's just fine. Where are you going? To Canada. Why are you going there? I'm going to learn English. There's a school there that has an excellent program. Is learning English going to be difficult? Yes, I have to study and practice a lot. Where is your school? It's in a town called St. Catharines in Ontario. Where's Kevin? He's in front of the house. What is he doing? Washing his car. Not again. Yes, he takes good care of his car. Yeah, what are you getting? Chicken, peas, and baked potatoes. How about steak? Perfect. I'll get steak and mashed potatoes. What vegetable are you getting? I'm not getting any. I don't like vegetables. What is it? Lisa is going to have a baby. Do they want a boy or a girl? A girl. When's the baby due? In the beginning of September. Do you work around here? Yes, I work in that building across the street. Really? What do you do? I work in a law office. I'm a secretary. What about you? What do you do? I work at Dura Restaurant. Are you a cook? No, I'm a waitress. Do you live alone, Jean? No, I don't. I live with my family. How about you? Who did you marry? His name's Jeff Hunt. He lives in my building. Oh, what does he do? He's a doctor. Do you do everything yourself? I trim the bushes and weed the flower beds myself. Who cuts the grass? Oh, it's so big that I hire one of the boys in the neighborhood to do it for me. Why? What's the problem? He's not doing well in school. Did you talk to his teachers? Yes, I did. What did they say? He's a nice boy, but he's very lazy. Have you thought about getting him a tutor? Maybe that's a good idea. I really want him to excel. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock. Can I drive you there? Sure, that will help. 
Do you have a toothache? Yes, and it's very bad. Who is it? It's me, dear. Don't you have your key? No, let me in. What's in that box? What did you get? A new dress, honey. What's wrong with all the other dresses? They're not this one. That's a great idea. Where shall we go? Let's go to the park. How far is it? About a mile. Is it a nice place? Sure. It has picnic tables and a beautiful lake. What's so terrific about it? I'm going skiing. Skiing? Are you serious? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Do you make dinner every night? Yes, I usually make dinner and my husband washes the dishes. Where do you live? Near the Penn Center. Does your husband help you do housework much? Um, yes. He sets the table almost every night and he makes our bed every morning, but I usually make all the meals. How about cleaning? We clean the house together every weekend. I vacuum the rooms and he usually sweeps the floor of the kitchen and he does yard work. Does he help do the laundry too? Well, he's never helped me do the laundry. Hey, Cindy, have you finished the exam? Yes, I have. Phew! Was it hard? Well, yes, it was hard. Pretty hard. Did you pass? I don't know. Mrs. Lester didn't tell me. What questions did she ask? First she asked me what my name was. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Yes, except I couldn't remember. Then she asked me where I came from and how long it took to get here from my country. And what else did she ask? She asked how long I'd been studying English here in Canada, and she asked how I would use English in the future. Oh, would you do me a favor? Sure. Do you need a hand? Oh, can you? That would be great. Can you go to the mall and buy her a new robe, pick up the dry cleaning, and get the cake from the bakery? And what will you be doing? Sleeping in, of course. Are you going out with Leonard tonight? Uh-huh. He's supposed to pick me up at 6.30. What time is it now? Where are you going? We haven't made up our minds yet. Maybe to a movie, maybe to a party. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I'd like to go, but it depends. I might have to go to the store tomorrow and do some work. Good afternoon, Scott and Smith. May I help you? May I speak to Mr. Scott or Mr. Smith, please? Is there any message I can take, Mr. Martin? No, I'll call back later. Can I get you something to drink? A cup of coffee, please. With milk and sugar? A little milk, but no sugar. What do you drink with supper? Tea. It helps me relax. How about a drink tonight? I'd love to. Where can we meet? How about the relax bar? What time? Is 8 o'clock okay? What are you taking for your throat? Hot tea and honey. Are you going to work today? No, I'm staying home. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. How much was it? Eighty dollars. Where did you get it? At Sears. What's the temperature? It's seventy degrees. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. Where are you going? To the post office. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get much snow? About 12 inches, they say. When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. How old is she? She's 16. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's 24. Is she pretty? Yes, and she's very nice, too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. 
How about a briefcase? Good idea. His briefcase is getting old. Hello, is Mary there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Is this 685-5290? No, it's not. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No, thanks. I'm already full. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't, but there are some in the living room. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you going? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure. It's fast and comfortable. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. Where are you going? To the supermarket. I... Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you can. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away, on Vine Street. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. When can I see Dr. No? He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Can you make it at 9? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until 10 o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will 1 o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Excuse me. May I see your license? I'm afraid I've left it at home. Can I put it all on one bill? No, we'd prefer separate checks. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It's $24.16. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about 3 o'clock. Good morning, Scott and Smith Law Office. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to David Waller, please? How do you spell your last name? V-A-L-E. What's your phone number? Does Mr. Waller have it? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's 680-5290. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? 680-5290. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It won't start, and it's 10 years old. How much will a new car cost? About $15,000. What kind of work do you do? I'm a cashier at a supermarket. Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting. How are you settling in? Oh, we're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Jerry? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. So you like it there, do you, Neil? Yes, this is a very good place for my children. Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's 10. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir, and it's only $1,200. How old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls.
Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes. Is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes. How many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. How much、uh, is it in the middle section? Fifty dollars. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At nine thirty. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. What time does the movie begin? It starts at seven thirty. What's the time now? About seven ten. I thought that movie was terrific. Didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. I see you're reading Harry Potter. How do you like it? I can't put it down. Have you read it? Yes. In fact, I just finished it. The endings. What kind of job? A secretarial job. Sandy, is that you? Yes. Uh huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but um, I couldn't remember your phone number. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was eighteen. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for twenty years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Had she been suffering from heart disease? Yeah, Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? She had two operations, but they weren't effective. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. But they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. Was it natural childbirth? No, she had to have a cesarean. What are you doing here? Tim I don't believe it. I'm going to see my daughter. She will marry this weekend. When is your daughter's wedding? Sunday. Where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from platform three over there. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been to Toronto for a few days. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good going around downtown and shopping. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure, I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes, as a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Have you met my nieces? Yes, they visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Did you ask her out? Yes, we went to a French restaurant. What time will this class be over? It will finish at three o'clock. Have you seen my book? No, but I'll ask around. What will become of that old car? I think they will sell it to a museum. Where's Bill? He's lying down on the couch. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for the restroom. Is he sleeping? No, he saw some blood and passed out. When is dinner? In a few minutes. Please help me clean off the table. Why did you buy that suit? I want to dress up for the party. What time does the store close? I'll call and find out. Do you know where Anne's house is? Yes, I do. I pass by it every day when I walk home from school. How did you get over your cold so fast? I ate thirty oranges a day for three days. What time do you get up? Usually at seven thirty, but on weekends I get up later. Was it easy to find the house? Yeah, the pink paint really makes it stand out.
What do you do at your new job? I stand on the sidewalk and hold up a sign advertising the restaurant. Can I borrow your car? Sure, but bring it back before 500, please. Why did the car stop? Because we just ran out of gas. Do you have any more DVD players? Sorry, we are all sold out. Do you have any pets? I had a puppy, but it ran away two weeks ago. Is everyone back from lunch? Yes, let's carry on with the meeting. Where do you want this box? Just put it down by the door, thanks. With how much juice do you want? I'm very thirsty, please fill up my cup. Why is Mrs. Jones crying? Her son went off to fight in the war. Did Bob leave already? Yeah, he set out early this morning. What happened to my flowers? That boy ran over them on his bike. Do you work out? Yes, I run to the donut shop every morning. Why did you buy my lunch today? I wanted to make up for being late last week. Where should I put my jacket? You can hang it up in the closet. Can I borrow your bicycle? Yes, as long as you give it back by 5 o'clock. Where are you going? I am going to Anne's house. She is sad because her dog died, so I am going to try to cheer her up. Did you find your missing dog? Yeah, he turned up last night. Is John going to buy a new house? No, he's going to fix up his old one. Why is the shoe store closed today? The owner passed away this morning. Who left the door unlocked last night? Well, we can rule out Mike. He's out of town. How did the fire start? The old gas heater blew up. You named your dog Tweety? It's the best I could come up with. Have you heard from Ted yet? Yes, he sent me a letter last week and I'm going to write back to him tonight. Why did the dinosaurs die out? Because the weather got very cold. What happened to all the trees? They burned down in the forest fire last year. Why are you working three jobs? I have to pay back the money I borrowed from the bank. Do you like cleaning your room? No, I put it off as long as possible. Have you decided what to order? I need more time to think it over. Why were you late for work today? A fire broke out in my apartment this morning. How should I care for this plant? You have to give it water every day. Why did you keep out of the game? I don't know how to play very well. May I have your telephone number? Yes, I'll write it down for you. Why is your girlfriend mad at you? I burst out laughing when I saw her new hairstyle. Hey, where did you get that donut? They are handing out free food at the store. Why do you look up to Tim so much? Because he is a brave, honest and humble person. What's wrong with the copy machine? It broke down yesterday. What took you so long at the store? I ran into my old elementary school teacher. Where did all these books come from? The library was selling its old books. Hey Joe, what are you doing tonight? I'm just going to hang out at Kevin's house. Is Nate coming to the party tonight? Yes, he said he would show up around 700.
Why aren't she going to Beth's party? I don't get along with her. Are those the gifts for Matt's party? Yeah, I have to put them away before he gets home. When did you find this great article? I ran across it in yesterday's newspaper. When will you get back from your trip? I'll return in two weeks. How can I get to your house from here? Take bus number seven and get off at the third stop. Why didn't you abide by the speed limit? I'm sorry, officer. I was late for my driving class. Where are you going? I'm going to drop off my rollerblades at Sue's house. She's going to use them tomorrow. How did your team do? They fell behind in the second half and lost the game. What are you writing? I'm writing an essay that I have to hand in to my teacher tomorrow. Do you want a hamburger? Yes, I do, but please leave out the pickles. How were the negotiations? Great, they yielded to our demand for a lower price. Are you using the computer? No, you can turn it off. How did Sylvia win the race? She was with the other runners, then she broke away from them and crossed the finish line first. Where does this stairway go? It leads to the parking garage. Why don't you want some cake? My dentist told me to cut down on sugar. Why did you sell your parrot? He kept on singing Elvis songs. Do you have any large size hats? Sorry, we don't. We mostly deal in children's clothes. Why did you change universities? Clown College really didn't live up to my expectations. How was your trip to the desert? I would sum up the experience by saying it was very hot. Oh no, why is it so dark in here? The wind blew out our candles. Will May be gone for a long time? No, she just dashed off to the store to buy some milk. Why did you do poorly on the test? It resulted from my not studying last night. Have you gotten through to Kim yet? No, the line is still busy. Why did you take apart the computer? I was looking for a file. Can we go to the department store now? Okay, but I have to drop by the bank first to get some money. Did you shake hands with the president? No, his bodyguards held back the crowd. What do you think of my new dance moves? Cut it out, I'm trying to study. What should we do with all these grapes? Let's dry them out and make raisins. Why did Jimmy have to stay after school? He was fooling around in class. Can you wait while I go to the bathroom? No, the train is about to leave, so we have to get on now. You'll have to use the bathroom on the train. What does your middle initial stand for? The S is for Simon. It was my grandfather's name. Wow, you learned how to juggle in one day? Yes, I caught on to it quickly. What time does your plane for Paris leave? It leaves at 10 o'clock, but I have to check in by 8 o'clock. Why do those rich kids look down on Sarah? Because Sarah's family is poor and she wears old clothes. How deep is the water in the swimming pool? Not very deep, it only comes up to my waist. Mom, why are you giving me your dirty socks? I want to add to your collection. Why don't we see if we can stay an extra day? Good idea, I'll look into it. How did the problem with the stove come about? I was trying to melt my jewelry. 
What did you do when the man stole your purse? I cried out for help and a security guard caught the thief. Why did mom tell us to keep away from that dog? Because that dog is dangerous. It bit three kids last summer. Why is the police officer running after that man? Because he stole that woman's purse. Do you want to come over to my house this weekend? That sounds fun. Thank you for inviting me. Why did you cross out Kelly's number in your book? That's her old phone number. Why don't we sell the old piano and get a new one? I could never do away with it. My grandmother gave it to me. Can you go to the concert with us on Saturday night? I'm going to talk it over with my dad tonight. Do you think I could trade in my bike for a new one? I think you should just give it away. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Could you speak up, please? I said your stereo is turned up too loud. Did you call that person who wanted to buy the house? Sorry, I didn't have time to follow up on it. I'll be gone for one week. Will you look after my dog? Yes, I'll give him food and walk him every day. What kind of job do you want to have when you grow up? Actually, I would like to become a dentist. Have you used the new computer that you got last week? No, I haven't. It's still in the box because I don't know how to set it up. I can't get to sleep. Why don't those dogs settle down? Maybe they are barking at a burglar. Do you want to come by my house and see my new CD player? Sure, but I can only stay for a few minutes. Did you hear that Sarah cheated on the test and got an A? I can't believe she got away with it. When you look back on your life, do you have any regrets? Yeah, I wish I hadn't invested all that money in stocks. You'll be late for school. What will you tell the teacher? I'll make up an excuse. Did you find any mistakes when you looked through my essay? Yes, I found a couple. Did you hear that Will made a house out of an old train car? Wow, he dreams up such interesting things. Did you see Bill and Monica kissing at the party last night? Yes, it made me want to throw up. He said he'd be here at 8 o'clock, but it's 8.30. Should we wait for him? Yes, maybe he got lost. I'm going to get an orange from the refrigerator. Do you want anything? Yes, could you bring out some watermelon, please? The weather is warmer this summer than it has been in the past. Why is that? I don't know. Some people think the warmer weather was brought about by air pollution. Why are you going to go to a movie with Tom? I thought you were angry at him. I was angry at him, but we made up with each other. Now we are good friends again. Where is Donald? I thought he was going to play soccer with us tonight. He was going to, but some relatives called on him unexpectedly. I would like to get the trees in the photo too. Okay, I'll just back up a little. I really don't like the new coffee machine. You should bring it up at the next staff meeting. They had to call off the soccer game yesterday. How come? I am hungry, but I don't want to cook. I am hungry too. Let's call up the pizza place and order a cheese pizza. The taxi will be here in a few minutes. Let's carry out your luggage. Your team is really far behind. Yes, I don't think we can catch up with yours. Please check my homework. Sure, if I come across any mistakes, I'll tell you. Come out of the sun before you get a sunburn.
That's a good idea. I'll sit in the shade with you. I'd be happy to help you study. Thanks. I can always count on you. I want to eat this apple, but it looks rotten. Just cut off the rotten part and eat the rest. You look really tired. I couldn't fall asleep last night. I can't figure out where I put my glasses. Look on your hand. I'd like to apply for a credit card. Okay, just fill out this form and sign it. Thanks for giving me a ride to the library. No problem. I'll stop the car in front of the library and you can get out quickly. That big guy keeps telling me to do his homework. Don't give in. Learning to play the guitar is really hard. Don't give up. You will learn if you keep practicing. This movie was really boring. Yes, it just seemed to go on for hours. Here is the pizza you ordered. Hold on, I'll go get my wallet. Let's hurry up and finish before dinner. Good idea, I'm hungry. Please tell your kids to keep off the furniture. I will. Sorry, Mr. President. I am really nervous about the test. Just keep up a positive attitude and you will do fine. Let's go out for a nice dinner. Good idea. I am tired of living on spaghetti and water. I'm longing for the ocean. Okay, let's go to the beach. I'm looking forward to our vacation next month. Me too. It's going to be fun. Look out. You almost stepped on my mouse. Sorry, I didn't see it. Let's look over our travel plans again. Why? We're just going to the store. You are supposed to come tomorrow, not today. Sorry, I mixed up the dates. I want to buy a shirt, but I don't know which color to get. I'll help you pick out a color. This room is a mess. Pick up your toys. Okay, Mom, I will. I think we are lost. Let's pull over and look at the map again. Let's go for a walk. Okay, let me put on my shoes. Sir, please put out your cigarette. Sorry, I didn't know this was a non-smoking area. I think we should put together a ski club. Good idea. I'll ask my friends at work. Haha, <laughs> you're stupid. You can't do math. Stop it. I can't put up with your teasing me anymore. Speeding could result in a traffic fine. I know, but we're late for the wedding. I'm leaving for China tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll be there at the airport to see you off. Our trip is coming up fast. You're right, let's set aside some rhyme to plan tomorrow night. Sorry, we don't have any red caps. That's okay, I'll settle for a green one instead. Please slow down, you're walking too fast. Sorry, I'll walk more slowly. I want to be a dancer, but my father says I have to join the army. I think you should stand up to him and tell him what you really want. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. last night. Wow, you stayed up late. Hey, look, those policemen just ran into that store. Let's stick around and see what happens. Joe is an excellent soccer player. He takes after his father. He is very good at sports. Let's go for a drive in the country. Okay, after I finish eating we'll take off. I am getting tired of mowing the lawn. I'll take over this week so you can have a break. 
I'm sorry to take up so much of your time, doctor. No problem. I'm glad you are feeling better. I'm glad they tore down the wall. Me too. The view is much better. I'm going to take a jacket to the movies. Good idea. It tends to be cold in the theater. Let's think up a way to surprise Dan on his birthday. How about inviting all his old girlfriends? Can I throw away these boxes? Yes, you can. I don't need them. I like these pants, but I think they're too small. Try them on. Maybe they'll fit. Your skateboard looks really fun. It is. Why don't you try it out? I tried to join the band, but they turned me down. Maybe you should learn how to sing first. Good luck with your new project. Thanks. I'll let you know how it turns out. Excuse me. No one has waited on us yet. I am very sorry. I'll get a waiter right away. I'm going for a bike ride. Watch out for cars. It's almost lunchtime. Okay, let's wrap up and go out to eat. Oh no, it's starting to rain on our picnic. No problem, I will carry the hamburgers to the house and you can bring in the cake. Help, there's a spider on the desk. Calm down, it is not going to hurt you. That man just cut in front of us. How rude. I can't deal with all this noise. Maybe you should get a different job. I forgot to bring my hair dryer. Don't worry, I think you can do without it. Let's climb over the fence and touch the tiger. No thanks, I don't want to end up as lunch. I am fed up with eating him every day. Okay, tomorrow we'll have bacon. Wow, you have a lot of books. I have too many. I think I should give away a lot of them. What a gloomy day. Yeah, I wish those clouds would go away. Let's go on the roller coaster one more time. No thanks, I don't want to go through that again. All right, hand over my keys. I don't have them. Oh, no, I've gained six pounds. Why don't you lay off snacks for a while? One can't believe that your girlfriend forgot your birthday. Yeah, I feel really let down. I still haven't found my bag. Look around at school tomorrow, maybe it's there. Look at those beautiful flowers. Wow, I don't think I've seen any like those before. I really messed up. I forgot my wife's birthday. Don't worry, just buy her some flowers and say you're sorry. Wow, you look great. Thanks, joining that health club really paid off. Wow, the girl is really ugly. I should point out that she's my sister. Look, I got an A on my test. Stop showing off. I promised my parents I would study tonight, but I want to play computer games. Don't play computer games. Stick to your promise. Your puppy really eats a lot. Yes, he's going to turn into a big dog someday. Let's listen to some music. Okay, I'll turn on the radio. I use up three tubes of gel every month. Maybe you should get a haircut. Be quiet, you'll wake up the baby. Sorry, I'll practice my trumpet outside. Wow, your shoes have a lot of holes. I know, they wore out because I walked five miles in them every day.